Woo, child. All right. Oh, my goodness, y'all. The weekend message. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I am still like, mm, but I've did a little grounding. We still got to get the work done. We ain't got to work. We covered. All right. So let's get it popping. Let's get it moving. Let's keep the party going. 10, 14 on the timer. Somebody here could be a Libra. Mm. Okay. Somebody here could also be very spiritual. Someone here could be well. Somebody here is, is connected to their. Um, they said the sixth sense. So somebody here is working with their sixth sense. Okay, their third eye's open. Somebody here is woke. Somebody here has been woke for a minute. They're on a very, very, very high um, frequency. I'm seeing comet energy. That's green. Mmm. This person brings justice to the planet with this person's gift. I'm picking up masculine energy. This can also be an alpha female. No matter how they work, they pick up... Um, they're in tuned. Just put it like that. This is also somebody here that works with the universal laws. Um, that could be part of their contract to bring justice. That's what they do. That could be the spiritual work that they do. Now, if they do any kind of spiritual work, it's justified. There's changes coming because the new cycle is already here, not coming. Okay? So there's change. Yeah, there's changes coming here. All right? Um, for some of you guys. Um, this is going to be a humbling experience coming in. All right, let's see what is going on. Okay, guys, if you don't know already, I am your Shaman Empress, a.k.a. The Shaman Hummingbird. Make sure that you are also subscribed to your areas only placements. Love Tarot. Anywhere Aries is in you and your person's chart. Cafeastrology.com will be linked down below to help you with all like chart issues, other placements, knowing where other signs is in your four houses, other houses. I heard Midhaven for some of you guys need to check that out. So you are also getting all of your messages also in all of your readings, even other readings that you are getting. Okay, guys. All right. Um, these are still general messages. Keep in mind, always and forever that, okay, when you are seeing them, that's when you're supposed to see them. The energy is fun. It will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person, okay? Let's see. Don't you worry. I'll be reading all the signs and the energies that I see, all right? All my beautiful universal Holy spirits. Messages for the collective. How does this person feel? How does this person? We're pulling the cards. All right, all my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit messages for the collective. Mm. How does person? Oh, okay, two of swords, the nine of cups, and the tower. Um, somebody here wants you, but they could feel like they're starting to wonder if this this could work. You are this person's wish fulfillment, um, but they wonder if this would work. They go back and forth. Um, Aries and Libra and energy, yeah. Uh, the Four of Cups. Hmm. This is somebody here that, 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 that definitely, yeah, they do. Five of Swords. They worry about if this is, if this could work. Um, this is why they're holding in their pentacle. Someone here don't know what to offer you yet because they're not sure if they should offer you something, if it's worth offering you something, um, here. This is a terror moment. Something here blew up between both of you guys. Um, you could have changed the way you thought about somebody. Somebody here also could wonder if there's still wish fulfillment for you. Pisces energy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For some of you guys, this is your divine masculine. That's thinking is that has been reflecting on this. Okay. Let's see what is going on, child. We got, um... Let's get you an angel number real quick, and then we're going to go a little deeper. Uh, when somebody thinks about you, they could get a little bit more. They could start to chain smoke, like, you know, cigarettes. Oh, I'm smelling black and mouth, and I'm seeing whiskey. Somebody here drinks VSOP. Is that how you say it? That could also be a brandy here. Someone's name can also be brandy. Um... 
I want to tell you that this could be somebody that has a very big ego. Somebody here is shocked that you don't feel for them or you don't have feelings for them. I feel like this is somebody here that thought that they hold, they had you and you just blew that shit up for them. It's like, it's shocking them. Like, but you're not into me. You don't want me. It's me, baby. Somebody here is very, like, egotistical. Whether this is a man or a woman, but you don't want me. You see this? You see me? You know how, like, certain girls be, guys? Like, you know what I got? You see me? I want, you know what? You don't want me? Like, somebody here is like that. Okay, let's get this angel number and go a little deeper, child. Because somebody here, we got two, nine, and four. Let's take a look at this. Five, five, one on the timer. Okay, it's also angel number. So we want to do two, nine, four. This is a um, a blend of, of energies. The power of spiritual alignment and divine guidance. Yeah, I told you. Somebody here, I, it's you. You're spiritually in line. I told you that when I started just reading 1014. There's Librans here, people here with strong Libran placements. I told you, you're getting like, that's why. Somebody here is not looking, this could be somebody here that's not gifted. Or they don't, they could be a sleep person. You know how people say, you know, wake, they're not, they haven't had an awakening. Or they're not. Um, strong or keen on their intuition. Um, this person is only look with like physical eyes, a physical attraction. You're not even on your vibration. Your frequency is way higher than them. Yeah. It's not just, you could have learned certain, like, more lessons. Like, somebody here is past physical. You got to just, you can't just be cute. Like, that's good. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what else? We got to, you know, we still got to be able to live. We still got to be able to work. We still got to be able to make best money. And this person feels like their looks or something like that, or they, they, because of what they look like, could have got them through a lot, especially in life. And that could be a problem because now that they came to this point, it's like they still could feel like their looks and because of what they bring um should be enough and it's it's not what's the tower yep the ten of swords i told you the king of wands this is somebody here that's very very attractive and they could very very much attractive and they're used to certain things from people, certain tension getting in their way because of their, they're attractive. Someone here could also be like a daughter or a son or avatar of Oshun or Shango. They could be a child of them. One of their children here. All right. Something like that is what I'm getting here. What's the tower? Yeah, honey. Judgment is being called. I told you, somebody, and somebody here is a higher fun. See, the thing is, somebody here is up against somebody spiritual. And they are having issues because they don't understand why, you know, everybody could want them. This usually works. You know, I'm usually the shit. You know, I'm the cat's meow. What the fuck you talking about? And it ain't working. You, you like, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, you cute, all right. And, like, I'm supposed to... What exactly do they do? Because I don't do that. What's a tarot card? Something like that, honey. Oh, my gosh. Libran. <laughs> Damn, my uh, God. Okay, Cancerian, Scorpion, Aries. Energy, fire energy. We got the queen of chalices. Damn, the devil child has been all day. Yeah. Somebody here is mad. They're in their feelings. Um, damn, that was the nine of chalices. Yeah. Because you, you're you not paying them attention. They might not know why you're not, like, falling for them, chasing after them. You're this person's wish fulfillment. This person wants your attention, though. Yo, that's the nine of cups and the two of swords. They're, like, in their head. You know, you could be giving somebody an ego death. You have the sun card. The sun don't rise and shine on somebody's ass the way they 
could have they could have really like thought that in a sense maybe they too far gone to really realize that's what that kind of means like the sun don't shine on your ass or something like that yep the five of swords now they're trying to figure you out like i wonder what why you hope why why they want to know why you're not giving them the same attention that they used to getting why are you holding back why ain't you in me like why don't you yeah mm. show me more about the two of swords I'm sorry. May I see the four of cups, please? Thank you. The king of pentacles and the nine of cups. Yep. I, damn. It just keeps clarifying itself. This person here wants the, um, you to give them an offer or they want to make you an offer. Ooh. We got the ace of swords, the ten of one. Yep. And the knight of ones. The truth is, this is somebody, to be honest, they want you. They can have other people that's into them, that want them, but they want you. Yep. Ace of pentacles. They want a new cycle with you. That's exactly what this is. What's the two of swords? Yep, they do. They want to take a chance. This person here, you heard this person's feelings. <laughs> yeah, honey, you didn't put the blues on somebody. Ten of pentacles. They want to come over. They do. This person's slowly coming towards you. And this could be, if this person knows where you live, they're like slowly making their way to your house or something. Like, what's, what's your problem? You don't want me? The eight of wands. Yep, I told you they want to talk about this. And this is somebody that wants to make a move towards you. We got the two of cups and the six of cups. They've been thinking about this for a while. Some of you guys could have grew up with this person or something like that. You would have you could have known this person. Yeah, there's some decisions that need to be made here. That's how they feel, honey. Yeah. They feel like they about to cuss you out because you acting like you don't want them. <laughs> okay, they're showing me this deck right here. All right. All right, what's going on? Deadly words. Okay, some of you guys are going to fight and argue about a karmic, a karmic situation. You know, a karmic is a person, place, or thing kind of energy or something like that. All right? So you could be like, no, you were spending too much time or you ain't make time for me. You always working. That's also karmic energy. Yep. Look at that. Peacock energy. Oshun. Y'all might argue. Somebody. Oh, yeah. An ego death. Oh, my gosh. The dig peacock. Wow. That means ego death. I told you. Or Shango, I told you. Or this is a child, a child of theirs. So they feel like y'all have unfinished bi bi um, um, business. We have Pandora's box. Yeah, I feel like you know that this could have blew shit open. Um, somebody here's trying to find out. Yeah, lies you tell. Somebody here is also could have um, figured out some kind of truth here about somebody. Love like fi love like fire. Yeah, see, I saw that karmic card. See, the Pandora's box opens when a karmic was found out about. For some of you guys, it's a karmic energy. I told you, somebody here like drinks, smokes or something or excessively, whatever their habit is. They could be drinking a lot or some shit since they've been in this energy with you. Mm, mm, mm. Child, let's get some more tea. Because y'all like the tea hot shit. That's what you said. All right. Mm -hmm. What's the tea here? Can I get some more tea for the collective? Can I get some more tea for the collective here? Ooh. I told you this person is trying to dirt dig on you. Somebody here feels like you know um, about some, you know about them. Their Pandora's box is open, so they're trying to find out some shit about you moving. Yeah, before you like walk away um, or something like that. Or that's why you walked away. This is also somebody that could feel like you did dirt digging on them. And now you know all their business and you walking away. They ain't going to like let you get away just like that or some shit. What's the tea here? Some of you guys be washing your hair with, um, you could be using herbs, oils, or something. Grease that have herbs in it. You know, like, there's in the end herb grease and shit like that. Some of you guys could also use, like, for tea shampoos that have, like, you know how they all say, um, you know, real, like, exacts in it. Fruit exacts or flower, floral, shit like that. Hold on, y'all. Damn, these foot up backwards. Amen. Yeah, boss dated in reverse and wasting time in reverse. Yeah. Somebody here is ready to boss up. 
and they ain't gonna waste no more time with you. But they ain't make that move just yet because this is out in reverse. Yeah, I'm also seeing flower orchid. Somebody here uses some like shampoo or conditioner like that. This person's crying over you. Mm -hmm. They've been reflecting a lot. Yeah. This person's been reflecting a lot. And this is somebody here, out of, all of a sudden, they're going to start kissing your ass, doing things for you that, you know, that maybe they never do. Maybe they're not used to doing something like that, honey. Let's get you some letters, child. And we're going to see what this person wants to say. Let's see what this person wants to say first. Then we'll grab you some letters here. Okay. You shocked the shit out of this person. Somebody here, it's like you giving this person an ego death, baby. And you know that usually whoever possesses the power to do this person could never get over you. Yup, fuck fear. This person's trying to boss up. I told you to get their strength up. They are nervous. They could be like, man, fuck that. No, I'm not going to... You know, this is the girl's going to be like, nah, man, F that. You know, I'm not going to sit up here and let fear stop me. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to tell them how I feel. They could be using their girls. Because I'm hearing a conversation the girls. Like to, like, amp them up. Like, yeah, just say how you feel. Like, that. tell that. Tell. Yeah, somebody here uses the N-word, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. These do sound like, um... Somebody here, um, uh, aggressive women. Something like that. Somebody here is aggressive. Stop sleeping so damn much. Somebody here um, slept on you. I told you, your friends miss your face. Now, for some of you guys, um, you could have, like, uh, like, chilled out maybe a little bit from hanging with your friends from this situation or something like that. Or maybe the situation that had you, like, I don't know. You know how when you go through shit, or even when you're not with your person, sometimes you still don't want to be bothered. Like, you just be needing a moment to yourself to digest what's going on. Your friends could miss you. Maybe you're going to reach out to your friends, and they start telling you, because I keep hearing, I'm hearing a group of people talking. Like, girl, you need to do this, do that. Or this could be bros, you know, something like that. Okay, what's the signs here? Mm. Somebody here could be from the west side of cities, town, um, something like that, country, seven choir. Yep, this person was being watched. Somebody here was being watched, too, to see what was going on or maybe what they were going to do. The seventh choir could have been watching them. Karma. Mm-hmm. Who, um, when this person puts you in this karmic energy, they got karma. Sacred chakra, that's why they're pulling on your energy. We got sons and daughters at Ephratoras or Mama Yamaja. And we have the third choir. Yep, justice. <laughs> this is It's like you get injustice out of this situation. Because I do, I feel like because of how you handled it. And it's like to this person, it's like, wow. You really, like, and you, like, nah, oh, it's cool, I'm good, or something. <laughs> that shocked them. That could have made this person, for real, they feel some kind of way, for real. <laughs> and every time they drink or they could, like, go out with their friends and shit like that, they might be thinking about you and shit. Like, something like that. What else is here? Yep, religious factors. See, y'all y'all, y'all also have a spirit bond. I told you, you're spiritual, they don't understand. And this could be somebody here that never really dealt with like a true, authentic, spiritual person. Or you're an empath or empathic. Some shit like that. Especially if you're on my channel, what I tell you. Y'all, there's a spiritual bond here. Um, somebody here might not call it that. So they're not putting it in that. They might not be recognizing it like that. I told you. And there's somebody here that's like, they might have been out of tune, out of touch, and then they might need their friend support. And their friends support them. Because I'm hearing them talk about you.
Okay. All right, child. You got somebody tripping a little bit, honey. Don't you be putting nobody through no ego death, honey. You know they can't handle it, child. Yeah, forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. Somebody here don't want don't want you to recognize the power that you have. Why? Because you can it it, it controls them. It compels them. Damn, that's what they just said. Such a curious dream. This person dreams of you and they think about you a lot. What's the oracles? Wow. Come, somebody here could be trying to like make you forget something they did. They don't want you to remember about this karmic energy. No need to fear. This person's trying to boss up, honey. They like, no, I'm not scared. I'm not going to be scared, but there you are. You are rare and free. I told you. You're spiritual, you're rare, and you are free. You're a free bird. <laughs> they never, they've never dealt with, or if this is somebody here that has dealt with a spiritualist, it's like now on your level. Falling. Yep. And they're falling for you. Mm. This person has fallen for you. That's what they said. Child, they didn't fail for you. You didn't, oh, child, you didn't broke somebody down, child. That's what she said. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah. See, this is the thing. This person is mad, though. And they're mad because they went through an ego death like you hurt them. This could have forced this person to grow, though. Yeah, because it humbles you. They needed this from you. You could have been brought in their life to teach this lesson. Yeah, and they want to confront you. Like, what's wrong with you? you don't, why, why are you acting funny? You know, you act like, you know, you don't want me. You act like I'm not attractive. You act like, you know, you ain't. Yeah, communication. <laughs> Intention. <laughs> you acting like you ignore me. You don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not sexy or something. Like, you know, what's up with you? Like, you don't like me no more. You're not attracted to me no more. Like, why are you, you know, child, they don't play that shit. And there's somebody here that has spiritual eye open can see this. And that could be why exactly why they're not doing it. And it's working or some shit. Mm. We got, yep, mystery. Didn't I say mid haven at the beginning? Is it what's the beginning of this reading or the last reading? Oh my gosh. Some of you guys got to check your mid haven. Mystery. You're mysterious to this person. I told you there's a conversation going on. Nurture, yeah, because somebody here wants somebody to nurture on them, whether this is you or this person, yeah, and it's partnership, yep, they just confirmed that for me, yeah, oh, that kind of scared me, yeah, community, um, y'all could be from the same area or some shit, mm -hmm. we got scorpion energy, also, I'm getting up water energy. Um, you caught this person's eye by simply not, like, paying them attention. Um, somebody here don't even think you notice them anymore. It's like you're just totally obli oblivious. That's what they just said. Mm. This person could be sending you bluebirds. And they could be also communicating to people in the community or people around your way about you. Like, you, you seen such and such. Well, yeah, what's, up, what's, up, what's such and such? You ain't seen them around. You know, I ain't seen them. You know, um, yeah, you, you seen her. You seen him. I know you know them too. Or I know they live by you or some shit like that. Child, this is how they feeling, honey. They feeling like you ain't paying them no the attention. They gonna have to knock on that door and see what's up with you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right. We're going to shut it down right here. This person wants to have a conversation with you. Okay? Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell. Don't forget to hit all. Guys, I will keep you tapped in and tuned in and notified when your messages are ready and available for you. I love you all. Stay dope. Next video upload. I'll share it. Amen.